Hi everybody, it's Ashley of Day to Day Social Work. I am a private online tutor and I specialize in assisting people to pass the license exam in social work on the master's and bachelor's level. You can find me online at daytodaysocialwork.wix.com slash my site and you can find me on YouTube at Day to Day Social Work. I'm making this video today to welcome all of the new subscribers. Um, right now we're sitting at about 2,076 subscribers right now I think so a lot of people are brand new to the channel and I just want to welcome you all um, the graduation season is definitely upon us and I know there will be a lot more new subscribers from all over uh, the country so I just want to welcome you all and um, congratulate you all on uh, graduating from grad school or about to graduate from grad school because it's April and I know there will be a lot of graduations in uh, hooding ceremonies in um, May and May Maybe even June for some people so I just want to come and welcome you all to the channel and let you know just a little bit about me my name is Ashley Harp I live in uh, Simpsonville South Carolina which is in the upstate of South Carolina in Greenville County um, I am licensed in the state of South Carolina on the mas master's level I passed the exam my first time trying um, back in September of 2015 and I started day-to-day -day social work in November 2015, I think. And I started tutoring in uh, May of 2016. And so there are tons of people with testimonials on the website as well as on uh, the YouTube channel, video testimonials and that kind of thing. There's lots of videos on uh, content and I'm working on some new videos today with more content. So welcome to the channel. I hope that this channel is helpful for you and that you'll share and subscribe and uh, pass along the information to your colleagues and friends as they prepare uh, as for the license exam and just prepare to be social workers in the field. I know a lot of us have years of experience already and I started this channel to uh, be a networking platform as well so check out the comment sections and if you see anything of interest or any body of interest that you think you might connect with in your state or wherever or on whatever topic then go at it so um, a little bit about me I am an ambulatory care manager social worker for uh, an agency it's a for-profit company rather in Greenville South Carolina and I assist uh, primarily pediatric patients who have type 1 diabetes and I also have some uh, just elderly adult patients as well who have Medicare and Medicaid to get resources and um, I have experience working with all different types of populations. I was a law enforcement victim advocate for two years before this job at a police department. And I love that job working with the victims and survivors of crime. And I also um, worked in Columbia, South Carolina, uh, where I went to grad school. Uh, was in grad school at the University of South Carolina in Columbia, South Carolina for three years, the part-time program. And I graduated in 2014. And uh, while I was in Columbia, I worked for a nonprofit agency that provided transitional housing to homeless families. And I learned a whole lot there. And I feel like when I left there, I was prepared for anything. Uh, so just working with people who had uh, issues in most of the areas that we study as social workers from uh, domestic violence, sexual abuse, uh, homelessness, of course, uh, drug abuse and addiction, and that kind of thing. Um, I also worked at a domestic violence shelter very for a very short period of time when I very first started out as a social worker and I worked with the HPRP housing grant um, for I think it was probably like six months so um, I've done internships at child advocacy centers and group um, day day groups for adults with schizophrenia and bipolar disorder as well as depression so um, I like to think I'm kind of well-rounded but I have a whole lot more to learn and a whole lot more to experience and a whole lot more to go but that's just a little bit about me um, I try to do some charity when I can I started a scholarship for kids at my high school back in 2012 uh, those kids did not want to write an essay <laughs> so I kind of 
cut that off um, in 2015. I had three award recipients of that, um, but I kind of stopped it because the kids were just not um, being receptive to writing the essay or whatever. So um, did a small charity last year with this channel, with Day-to-Day -day Social Work and our colleagues, um, and did a small little thing there. Um, but everything counts. And so that's what Day-to-Day -day Social Work is. It's just a channel, and uh, it's a movement, I'll say, <laughs> because it's not a company or anything like that. But it's just social workers helping each other prepare for the license exam. Um, and me tutoring and giving content, videos on content and that kind of thing and just encouraging and just giving updates uh, periodically on just things that I think of. So welcome to the channel and I was thinking earlier today um, for all the new graduates and people that are graduating this year period, I thought about when I graduated, um, when I was in Columbia, I, my home church is in Greenville and it's like an hour and a half drive. So I would attend church online a lot um, while I was in grad school and they had a, a contest uh, for graduates um, that year and they were giving away like some prizes and that kind of thing. And so one of the things they gave me was this book by Dr. Seuss, Oh, the Places You Will Go. This, even though it's a kitty book, is one of the best gifts I've ever gotten. Like, because I'm so into like stuff that has value, like sentimental value, trinkets and little cards. I have a ton of cards that I've kept over the years. And this book is one of the things that I got that I'm just so grateful for. Because as a kid, you read it and it's just another Dr. Seuss book that, that rhymes and that kind of thing. But as an adult, when I got this book in the mail, they mailed it to me and I read it. And I'm not going to read it <laughs> here. But, and I read it, um, it just had a different meaning for me. And it just made me cry. So if you get a chance to read this book as a new graduate or if you know somebody that's graduating uh, as an MSW or BSW or just in any kind of field whether they're graduating from high school or middle school or college or grad school or whatever this is a great gift um, and like I said especially though if you give it to someone who's graduating from college or um, grad school PhD program or whatever it, the words just mean so much even even as an adult so um, I just thought that I would just say that about this book so it's a very encouraging book and I just want to encourage you all that you will go great places even when you pass this exam some people don't pass the exam on the first time some people take seven or eight times to pass the exam and I'm hoping that my channel and my services will help you pass the exam on the first time but some people don't find me until like they've taken it six or seven times and and not saying that everybody passes the exam by tutoring with me because I'm not almighty great or anything like that but um you know just when you pass this exam it's going to open so many doors for you and it's just going to be great but you will go so many places with or without your license some people don't want to get the license but that's what this channel is for of course mostly so people want their license but you will go so many places and enjoy so many things and meet so many people you'll learn a lot about yourself um i was reintroduced to myself in one of my jobs because I saw some aspect of my life in a lot of people that I met and I'm like wow and I'm, I'm just always learning about myself and always remember when we work in this field especially if you work directly with people in maybe like a case manager role or some kind of direct service role I always try to say before I leave the house it's not about me and I have to put myself to the side and realize that when I step out the door and into the social worker role, it's not about me if I'm having a bad day. And you may have a bad day sometimes, and you have to be able to check yourself. So make sure you are able to do that. If you offend somebody because you're having a bad day and you take it out on somebody, apologize. Um, and, you know, I always tell people don't apologize unless it's sincere. So, you know, just 
make sure you check yourself often in this field because we're all human and even though we're social workers and people think that we're supposed to fix the world we're just like everybody else so i won't ramble on <laughs> i don't know what's going on with me today but um so i'm going to give you some content now that i've gotten these two videos out the way um that don't deal directly with the exam but i did want to just go ahead and make those so until next video i'll see you later make sure to subscribe to subscribe to the channel um, and to like and share the videos. All right. See you later.